I haven't been here, I think, since Ragnarok, so it's kind of four or five years ago. Um, and I love coming to Comic Con. I remember um, very fondly with such vivid memories the, the first time, which was 11, 12 years ago. And the crowd's incredible. And to come here with something that also, you know, an iconic piece of IP and material um, has an inbuilt fan base, and to see the enthusiasm and excitement for it. Uh, was, was was wonderful, mate, and there was such a fantastic response we had then, so I'm excited for people to see the film. Lorenzo Bonaventura had reached out to me and um, and suggested, you know, that, that or offered the character to me, and I was really nervous for all the obvious reasons, you know, what, what Peter Cullen had done with the characters become so iconic and, and incredible. Um, but I was thankful that it wasn't about mimicking that, it was an opportunity to do something different, and this was not the you know, all-knowing, powerful, godlike figure that Optimus Prime is and, you know, that we've grown to love. This was the youthful version before he had it all figured out and there was a sort of a cockiness and, and an enthusiasm and a, um, you know, a sense of humour and there's a different sort of a spontaneity to the character, much more sort of youthful, lively version. And I think myself and all the cast really lent into that. So there's a great sense of, of fun to it, you know, and it being an origin story, we get to see something very different about all the characters and uh, these two individuals um, who, you know, begin as friends and end up as enemies. It's, it's quite a sort of complex but fun thing to play with. It's always uh, nervous, or nerve-wracking sort of stepping onto that stage and, and when you're met with such um, positive energy and, 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 you know, a true fan base that know the characters better than you do, um, it's, it's equally exciting and nerve-wracking but, but a lot of fun and, and stoked they... Uh, you know, we appreciated what we'd shown them and, and we were, you know, um, having as much fun with it as we were. It was cool. Oh, absolutely. You know, the, the cinema going experience, you know, is, um, is hard to replicate. And, and for myself, I reckon some of my happiest memories were going to the cinemas with my brothers and my parents as a kid or groups of mates. And, and this, uh, this film certainly warrants that and deserves that. You know, it, it's big, it's loud, it's fun. Um, it, it's got a great sense of humour, but there's this heart at the centre of it too. So I'm sure people will love it. Comic Con is the best. Like it's just, I mean, it's truly. I feel like my inner nerd is like embraced and loved. I'm around my fellow, you know, like fans. It's really, really cool. But it's weird to be on this side of it. You know what I mean? I've always wanted to participate in Comic Con, but to be here because I'm a part of Comic Con is something else. Can you talk about why you wanted to be a part of the franchise? I could tell you all the reasons. Like why wouldn't I? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Uh, I, I don't think it really hit me that they wanted me to place such an iconic character like Megatron. Um, I also just realized, I was like, oh man, here I am being able to play like one of the most notable villains of all time, but to actually play him before he becomes Megatron was the biggest catch for me, like to really find out how he became who he is. I'm always fascinated with villains because I'm like, villains don't ever start that way. Some, that villains are made, you know what I mean? Um, and so I always wanted to really get down to the knit and grit of what made Megatron how he is. And so I also wanted to make sure that I gave him enough heart too, because like I hate when they already make villains like you should hate them, you should be against them. I was like, no, I want people to really feel for him and really like understand him and relate to him. And uh, that was just a big, it was the easiest choice to make to just do that. Cause like the way that it's written by Josh, our director, you really get to the core of who Megatron is, like where he started. This is a movie made for theaters. Like, why wouldn't you? Like, it's action packed, it's Transformers, it's the origin, it's CGI, it's the way you've never seen it before. And, like, we're having a blast. Like, you will come in and have a really great time. There's just this sense of positivity about Comic Con because it's a, pl it's a place where there are hundreds of thousands of people, and every single one of them wants to be here. That's the thing. And so I always get that uh, real fun energy about being here. I'm a huge fan from way back in the day, from, I mean, the original cartoon back in 84, from 84 to 87. I was a fan then, and I've been a fan ever since. And so to be a part of this franchise and to be part of the lore of this franchise is really an honor, an absolute honor. And I, and, and I, and I, and I love being able to play Bumblebee, who's one of the most beloved characters in the, in the stories. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I think people should see it in theaters, in IMAX, in 3D, in 4DX, all at the same time. There's so much, it's so dynamic that I think people should absolutely, this is not something you want to watch on your phone, folks. This is not something you want to look at on your computer screen. You definitely want to see this. You want all the expanse and, the, and you want to feel the sense of the world that they're in because no one's ever seen, you get to see Cybertron, what it's like, uh, how it looks, what their lives are like. You want to see that on a big screen.
It's three billion years before any of the Transformer movies, so you're, you're getting a part of the lore, the mythology, that no one's ever touched on, including in the TV show. And so you're really getting to see who Optimus was before he became Optimus and who Megatron was before he became Megatron. And so I think that's really interesting because we have such a clear picture of those two characters, but then when you meet them when they're younger and they're still becoming what they are, it really affects how you see them. Why is this a great movie to see in theaters? It's got tremendous scale. Um, the, the, the visuals are stunning. And, and our composer did a, just an unbelievable score that just elevates the theatrical experience. It's, it's, it's insane. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, the response in Hall H was amazing. Uh, it was what, it's better than I, than I thought it could be. It really is. It, um, there's so much love for this franchise and for these characters. And I knew that going into it. And um, I'm so thrilled with the response. This cast is a dream cast. They are, all of them are so, they're so talented. I mean, I'm stating the obvious right now. They're so great, they're so funny, they're so, um, the, the way to improv is, is amazing. Chris, uh, Tyree, uh, Brian Tyree, uh, Keegan, Scarlett, like everybody was able to bring a piece of themselves to the role, which is what, as a, as a director, that's what you're dying for. Not only should you see it in theaters, the 3D for this movie, I don't think I've told anybody this, the 3D for this movie is insane, and I'm not, I'm not saying, well, go see it because it's 3D. It, it actually, it immerses you even more into the film.